I love the, this is me with my head over my shoulder. I can still run forward. So he doesn't have... Oh come on! Yeah... Okay, yeah, that should that should be us through then. Like one of the things later on is that he sort of pops up and disappears. I don't know if he does that this early, but like in his second form, I think it's his second form. I think he looks a lot. He looks like a creature instead of a dude. Uh, he does sort of pop up and disappear. Okay. Ouch. Okay, that's where we've got to go. I do like that there's like a... Uh, yeah. Figuring out the controls. I do like that there's a creepy element to the story, like... Like there, yeah, there's a... Oh, I thought that red dot on the map was the creature there for a second. I was forgetting that the doors are red. Uh, I like that there's a creepy element, like the, the blood... The mention of blood on uh, the door... On the machinery. Okay, so this is basically introducing us to how the rest of the game is going to play. These corridors and the, the creature somewhere, uh, and us having to investigate. Obviously we need to find some sort of clue. Yeah, now we have a key to open something. Okay. I what to do here, really. I think... Maybe hide down here? So, like I said, you can usually just dart... Like, later on, you can usually just dart into doorways and, like, open and close the door and... I think that sort of resets the creature. Not sure here. Oh, another thing about Naomi's special talent, as well as it being a bit inconsistent, uh, it also has a range limit. You know, you're not going to be uh, well, maybe staying obvious, but you're not going to be able to see the creature from across the map. I think it's only when you can hear the heavy breathing that you can also see the creature on the map. Okay. 
hide in the darkness. God, I hope he's not coming this way. Oh. Thank God for that. Him while he's up there. Okay, um. Yeah, so like I was saying, it's kind of a sh it's kind of a shame there isn't a sequel because this this game does have a really creepy atmosphere. Okay. Like, it, it does have a lot of faults and it, it is very weird in some respects. Uh, okay. I did, did hope the key was for here. Uh, but, like, at the same time, it, it's like a really interesting uh, premise. Maybe on the switchboard. I'll pull the goddamn lever then. Okay. Is that us done then? Yep, that's us done, I do believe. Okay. And will it run out of the darkness as the creature, I mean? coming back down again isn't he? God this game is really unsettling at times. I think this game like like this game does have bad aspects and it like it is clunky and stuff but it, it goes to show how much like how easy it is to really scare somebody just with like tension and waiting because, like, the whole thing that makes the creature scary and is at the moment, like, really unsettling me is the fact that you just have to stand around and wait. Like, I can't even see the creature and I, I'm already, like, really unsettled. Because I know it's coming. I can hear it, I can see it on the map. But even so, like, like you're not luckily, you're not properly seeing the creature. You're not looking at it. Like, it's not about visual power or, or like, uh, like just how scary the creature looks. It, it's the fact that you keep being taunted with its presence that, that makes it scary. Wow, where the hell is he going? Okay, we'll let him wander down there for a bit and then we'll swivel round and leg it. Okay, that's probably enough. Okay, so let's go get out of here. <laughs> Hopefully. Did I go in there? Yeah, I did, didn't I? There's something in there. Okay. And this is another annoying bit that you you barely have any stamina to run. So you have to be very careful. I don't know what happens if you get uh use all your stamina, eh? Like the screen starts to flash and like uh there's a head bob as you, you probably saw. 
Well, I used up some of my stamina there. I don't know if it kills you or what. Oh. Okay. Um, no, but there's a creature behind us, so we probably should. Yeah, and this is where the game starts to get weirder and weirder. The music alone is pretty weird. Yep, pretty weird. 